three, two, one. Welcome back to Bean Gaming. Today we are going to check out King Bassett. And before we do that, not only is he King Bassett, but he's a shiny King Bassett. I was going to do a video on another hero today, but I actually forgot that I had him. So he belongs to, if you take a look over here, no, not Shadowblade, King Bassett. If you take a look at him, only 17 exist as of this video, which is really cool. So that's the reason why I wanted to take a look at him and do a showcase on him. And if we view him, notice that he has, well, there's really, what, five tags. Crypt King, Bassett, Creature, Undead, and Shadow. So I wanted to get a creature team together just because, well, I mean, he's a creature. And I haven't done a showcase on pretty much any creatures because there's not many creatures that are out there. But if you take a look at his stats, though, not only does he do damage and speed, of course, and the range is on there, but he actually boosts shadows, other shadow heroes, which is really good because sometimes your kings are going to only boost, or towers or heroes are only going to boost certain other specific heroes, where he's going to boost all of the shadows or all of the other heroes that are tagged with shadow. So I decided to put together a shadow team, and if you take a look, let's just type in shadow, and let's copy this thing, that way we don't have to keep repeating it over and over again. There's not much to choose from, and to get a better idea of what's going on here, let's go to the hero log, and there's not many shadow heroes. And I haven't used all of these per se. I have used Corrupt Angel a little bit, but I only have one of those. So that's, you know, I I have better teams than just one Corrupt Angel. I haven't used Shadow Blade per se. Haven't really used Deaththorn. I have a Shiny Darkness, but Shiny Darkness is, if you remember, only boosts Paranormals, which is completely weird. And then I do have a Knight here. I considered Knight here. And I do have a Mao. I do want to use Mao because let's go back to our regular hero log. If you click on Mao, Mao actually boost Bassett. So that was a good idea. I only have one Mao, but Mao is the hero that you can get from the shop, I believe. Where is Mao? He was over here. Maybe I maybe I bought him already and then he's gone. That's probably what it is. Let me just take a look one more time here. To take a look, there's the Soul Gems, there's the Ancient Urns, and then Bloodborne, and then the Night Hair Bundle. Yeah, so I bought Mao, and so it's out of my shop now. But anyway, these are the heroes that we're going to go with today. We're going to go with Mao. Let's take a look at him one more time. So he boosts King Bassett, which is cool. We're going to use King Bassett. We looked at him. We're going to work with Shadow Blade, which I have Infernal on him. And he does 10% boost to Shadow Heroes. So I was able to level him all up with boost. So he's going to do a 40% boost. At least that's what it looks like. We'll check in the game what he actually does. And then there's Shadow Demon. Shadow Demon, I have... Well, Shiny Shadow Demon, I put him on the team just because not only is he Shadow, but because probably going to be my starter. I didn't want to mess around waiting a wave to put Mao down, but we'll see. If we have to redo it, no big deal, no worries. And of course, we're going to go with Demon Mage. And I probably could have used King Midas, just because King Midas is going to boost other Crypt Kings, but like I said, I wanted to work with a specifically a specific Shadow team for today. So we're going to take a look at that. And before we actually hop into the game, let's exit out of the King's Tomb. Why are you saying we exit out of the King's Tomb? Don't we want to play the Kings? Yes, we do. But I want to run over here, hop on Violet, jump over Violet, run in here because I want to make a deal with the Death Slayer. And what is that deal going to be? Well, if you take a look back at King and Bassett, they just put Bassett on there. They didn't put King Bassett. I don't, it's whatever. I do have an extra one. So I want to sacrifice him and that way I can apply him to the boost for Shiny King Bassett or, or Shiny Bassett Secret, if you will. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's make sure that I sacrifice the right one. And yes, please, Let's type in Bassett. There he is. There's the shiny already check. We're going to check him and confirm deal. Bam. There we go. And if you take a look at my urns, do I have any Bassett urns? There. See how it says King Bassett right here, but over here it just says whatever. It is what it is. And I am going to open him, even though there's no 2x luck or, or shiny luck, just because I already have a shiny. And, well, we're going to go ahead and open him anyway. Pretty cool looking urn. And there he is. Because we're going to sacrifice you. I'm sorry. You just were born and now you're going to be sacrificed. Bassett and one more. Make a deal with death. We're going to confirm. Bam. There he is. So back up. Go to our backpack. 
Let's go to our heroes. No, we have to go to collectibles and Bassett Soul. We're going to use him. There he is. Make sure. Let me take my time now. Let me find where it says boost and bam. There's one boost. Go to collectibles. Bassett Soul. Use. Click on Bassett. Make sure we're going to click on boost. There he is. So what do I need? I need two more now. I need... I need two more to level King Bassett up. So we'll, hopefully I'll get that within the next couple of days, but I wanted to get this out here for everyone to see. What's interesting about the team that I have, if you view King Bassett, he has tags of Creature, Undead, and Shadow. So Undead I cannot use in the Red King Crypt, so that's out. And I can't use Shadow, so he's out. He can, I mean, of course, he can't defeat himself. That wouldn't make any sense. So... Purple is out, and Undead is red. So red and purple are gone. But then you take a look at Mao, and we go to Mao. He is Shadow and Undead. So purple is out, and red is out. Cannot use that. Shadow Blade, if we click on him, he's Holy and Human, as well as Shadow. So Holy and Human, I think Holy is the Orange Crypt. So Orange Crypt is gone. And if we click on Shadow Demon, Shadow Demon is Shadow, so we can't use him in purple. So I probably can go, i probably going to have to go with Paranormal, with the Paranormal Crypt. And before we do that, let's, I, I don't have that many, any curse tokens to use over here, but let's just use a couple of them and see if we can get a pretty decent rank on him. Because I, I've never used Bassett before, so I really don't know how good he is, or maybe he's, but I don't know. Let's find out. Let's click on Bassett over here, and we're going to run it through maybe a little, Oblivion. Oblivion is actually nice. I wouldn't mind doing that, but Inferno is probably going to be better, so let's, yes. Let's re-roll. Keep going here. We're going to mess around for a little bit, and what's the next one? Well, we have Greed. Greed's not, well, I don't want Greed, but Greed is actually, uh, <laughs> are you kidding me? Another Greed. Are you trying to tell me something here? You trying to tell me that you want... If I get Gre Infernal, there we go. And I didn't even use 100 Curses, and I got a whole bunch of good stuff. So we'll keep Infernal here. What about the other two heroes? Um, Shadow Demon? I don't know, man. Shadow Demon? Let me go take a look at him one more time. Let's view him. What does he do? Oh, he's attacking at that slow of a speed. But he does poison damage. Oh, I did two damage and two speed. You know what? Let's just get the first 1% curse we can on him. I'm not going to be overly worried about it. Where where did he go? Where are you hiding, Shadow Demon? All right, let, there he is. He was hiding. Let's let's see. Oblivion? Okay, good. I'm happy with Oblivion. That's fine. And then Mao? Mao, what are we going to do? I'm not going to get any other Maos, so I'm going to be happy with whatever I get here. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Mao. Let's not waste all my tokens here. Everyone else is doing good. You better not... No, come on. Give me... I need a 1%. Oblivion. There we go. I'm happy with that. We're all good there. Okay, let's go to our... Let's do Paranormal. Let's do the Green Crypt, and let's see if we can beat that. Here we go. We are going to have to go with Horror Mode. We have to. I don't play anything else besides Horror Mode, and if we lose, we're going to have to think about a different strategy here. But the tough thing about this map is that there's two exits. I know I zoomed out. There's an exit here and an exit here, so you really have to be fast with placing your heroes on each side of these exits. And you're going to get 5,000 to start. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit more. There we go. And I'm not going to be able to place anything but Shadow Demon. So let's see how many Shadow Demons we can get going here. There's one there, two there, three, four, and we'll put a fifth Shadow Demon. And hopefully... He's going to be able to hold off until we can get Mao down. I just don't know if that's going to be the case. We might have to restart this one, folks. I at least need one of these to, to get destroyed, and that's not going to happen. Oh, wait. Yes, I can. I can put Mao down. I can put Mao over here. And put Mao over here. Are we going to lose? Oh, we're good. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Did they get through? Okay, we can put a couple more. Can't we? So we might be okay for now. We might be okay. We might be okay. Put another one down. Come on, let's, can we get to 10,000? That'd be really nice. That'd be really nice. There, we have 10,000 down. 10,000, another one. Can we get him? He feels extra powerful. Oh, we just made it. We just made it. And how many can we place? We can place six of them. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, let's, we need to start leveling him up here. Stop talking, pay attention, level him up. We need, yes, we need to level him up for sure. Let's zoom in a little bit. He's getting some boost now. That's actually not bad. And, yeah, he's doing a 32% boost. 
That's good. Okay, let's level him up a little bit more. I may need to move him around. I might put some more up here just because. And I don't even have Shadow Blade down yet. Alright, we'll put Shadow Blade. We'll put... Yeah, get out of the water! It's not time for swimming! Let's put Shadow Blade up here. That way we can get a little bit more firepower up front. How many Shadow Blades can we place? We can place six. Oh, and we're maxed out on all of our heroes. Shadow Blade, I think, does piercing damage. If I'm not mistaken, although this is probably a really terrible spot to put Shadow Blade for piercing damage. And I think we are going to... Hmm, let's get rid of some of these guys in the back. No, don't level him up. Let's sell... Oh, I didn't want to sell him. Mao, you did a pretty decent job, so we'll, we'll keep you here. And let's see what Mao does. He does some teleporting stuff. And take a look at him. Get your picture in there, Mao. He's giving, he's giving Bassett a 10% boost, and his speed, not bad at all. And 20, about 20,000 damage every strike. All right, let's make sure that we take care of this side here. We have Shiny Shadow Demon. We're going to level that Shadow Demon up. So he's attacking every 3 seconds and 10,000 damage. All right, this Mao, I think we can level this Mao up. Let's get rid of these other Maos because I want to make sure that I can put some more of our showcased hero up front. And then, of course, we have to place Demon Mage for the additional boost. But we're making a lot of money now. Just need to make sure that we can get some Bassets down because Bassets, I think, are going to be the key for everything that happens up front here. And we'll make sure we put a Demon Mage right on this side. That way Demon Mage can reach on both sides. And now I think we're looking and we're in a much better spot. We're looking better in a much better spot. What else can I put in the back? I can put some Shadow Blades in the back, although they're not really going to be boosting or they're getting that Demon Mage boost. Let's get rid of this Basset here. Let's just, let's just check it out. I think if I have one Basset on each side, then we should be good to go. Like I said, I want to get most of my damage up front. And do we have everyone placed? We do. Okay, so we're going to take a look at stats here in just a moment. Let's go ahead and put a couple more Bassets. One right here, and he feels extra powerful, which is good. And I don't have the flag either. I opted not to purchase that at this time. I'm saving those ancient coins. And now let's take a look at what Bassett's doing. And he's getting boosted by Shadow Blade. He's getting boosted by Mao. He's boosting the other heroes of himself. And he's getting a Shadow Demon boost. And then the Demon Mage boost. So his attack speed is 5 and doing 21,000 damage times 5. So you're doing over 100,000 damage. And that's with him only being leveled up three times. We have two more to go, and I believe he would get a 1.52% boost, if I'm not mistaken. His range is 65. If you get Nightmare on him, that's going to increase a little bit more, roughly to 70, 75-ish. And, of course, the damage will be more if we have Nightmare on him. So he's actually pretty good, I think. Remember, we're on horror mode, too, so that always helps. I'm going to place some of my extra heroes in the back, I can place another Shadow Blade, and let's do that. We'll place a Shadow Blade back here to help. We have a King Basset on this side, and we have a King Basset on that side for help. And I can put some more Maos down, but I think I want to just for the boost, to boost these heroes back over here. Let's put a Shiny Demon Mage on this side, a Shiny Demon Mage on this side. And let's actually take a look at the difference while we're at it. We'll take a look at these enemies momentarily. But 12,500... And now we put the 72% boost here, 21,000. So that's almost a $10,000 dollar. That's almost a 10,000 damage increase, which is pretty significant because you're multiplying that by five. So that's a 5x multiplier right there. All right, and we have one more hero that we can place. Let's take a look before we do that. Let's take a look at see if we can knock these mummies out. These mummies are 550. They're no joke. I'm just worried when those heavier, those tanky bosses come out, those mini bosses come out, those gigantic ones that don't even look like they can fit through the entrance, they have to duck their head. I wonder if they're in this particular crypt. I don't remember offhand. But we have, what do we have, four? Four shiny bassets, one, two, three, four. We have four shiny bassets up here, and we have Shadow Blade. So this might become interesting if these cannot take the enemies out. And that would not be good. That would not be good for business here. Okay, we do need to put down... Oh, we only have mouths left. Well, we are going to have to put some more mouths down. 
he is going to have to help out, I believe. From the way things look, Mao, you are going to have to help out, pal. I'm sorry that we're putting you on the spot here, but you are going to have to help out. And his damage actually is 33,000 every little bit more than one second. But we do need that boost for Shiny King Bassett. And there's, see, these are the big enemies I'm talking about. The Guardian, this is not good at all. This cannot be good for business. I pr oh no, this is not good. We're going to lose right here. The damage is 200. And we just don't have enough firepower to help out. We just don't have enough, I don't think. Because we're on wave 17, so they're going to send more of those guys out. I probably should put... Here, let's do this. Let's go Bassett on strongest. Let's try that strategy before we lose. We need to aim him on strongest. In the back here, we're going to have these other heroes help out with everyone else. But I hope those gigantic mummies don't come out back here, because if they do, then we are really going to be in big trouble. Man, I should have got Nightmare then. Probably should have went with Nightmare. And these mummy priests, 550,000. I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be okay back here. Potentially. 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 Oh, no. This, this might not work at all just for these mummies. We can get the smaller mummies. There's no issue there, but it's these bigger ones that are going to cause some issues. Oh, no. We were not able to hold. That's because my shadow team isn't very good. Back to the lobby. We lost on wave 19. Sorry, King Bassett. My shadow team needs to be much better than what I brought today. But he is really good. He's actually a really good tower. You connect him up with the right other heroes. I know, and like I said, I tried to use heroes that boost him, but we just weren't able to get the job done. I think if I switched out, maybe put a corrupt angel in like this right here, and maybe swapped out this shadow demon or something along those lines, I think we would have been much better. But anyway, he's a really good hero. I would I would encourage you to get him and put him all on boost. Let's check him out one last time before we say our final goodbyes here. Yes, put all of the... If you get any more shiny King Bassets, or I'm sorry, if you get any more Bassets, make sure that you boost him on up. Put all of the Bassets to boost. That'd be really good. So, if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!